Representative Haler, you are sponsoring an important piece of legislation that would help establish family medicine residencies in rural communities and areas in need in our state. What exactly would House Bill 1485 do? Well, what House Bill 1485 does is establish residencies in parts of Washington State that are underserved. But I think we first need to understand that once an individual has finished their four-year degree getting a doctorate degree and you finished your four-year degree getting the undergraduate degree, you go on to the medical school and get your MD degree, you have to do four, three to four years of residency before you can even practice to become a doctor. Just because you didn't get an MD degree, you aren't a doctor uh, to, that's able to practice. And in our part of the state, uh, we have two-thirds of our doctors in eastern Washington and central Washington that will be retiring in the next five years. And we don't have enough residents or enough hospitals uh, with residency programs. So my, my residency bill is addressing that, that under shortage or the shortage going on in, in, our, in our area, as well as the shortage that's going on in Port Towns and Port Angeles and Bellingham as well as in areas of Vancouver. And we worked it out with the University of Washington, we worked it out with the medical association at the state level, we've worked it out with the hospital association, plus we've worked it out with uh, the key organizations that are involved in this that we will freeze the residencies that are in w western Washington, primarily in the Puget Sound area, the Tacoma, Seattle area, There'll be no increases as planned, and those residents that were planned to be increased, those residencies, will be given to the underserved areas of Washington State, such as Central Washington, Eastern Washington, and the other areas that I just recently talked about. And then I am also have a budget proviso to ask for $16 million to add to those residencies uh, so that we get more residents going through the key hospitals in Eastern Washington so that we can get more doctors into our communities. And statistics show that if an individual does a residency in a given area, they were they'll more than likely by 70% or greater stay in that area five years or for a lifetime after they finish the residency. So this would help us fill our, our doctor deficit that we're, we're encountering in the next five years. Plus it will also un unplug the, uh, lo the line that we have of people waiting to get into residencies so they can become, a doc, become a, an active and, and practicing doctor. What do you think will happen with the bill moving forward? The bill has moved out of uh, high, the House uh, Health Care and Wellness Committee unanimously. It is now in appropriations and I'm in negotiations right now to set, separate the policy portion of the bill from the fiscal ask, which was the $16 million. Uh, we're in negotiations to do that. It looks like it will happen. The Speaker of the House and my leadership and the Republican uh, caucus here have agreed that we need to move the policy bill forward. So that will probably mo move forward to the House floor in the next uh, couple weeks. We will get a chance to vote on it and then send it to the Senate. The Senate will then uh, consider the policy. I know that they are very, very interested in it. I have got pretty much uh, the Senate supporting the residency program and the governor's office has come in and talked to me about supporting it all, their support for it also. So I believe that sometime, hopefully before we get out in May or April, uh, that we, uh, the bill will be signed and we'll have a policy in place, plus either the total f fiscal ask of $16 million or some portion thereof.